Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Resources Forum in Davos. My name is Jaime de Bourbon Parme. I'm the Special Envoy Natural Resources for the Netherlands government. Resources. Resources are everywhere in the room you're sitting in, this room here where I'm standing right now. It's the metal in my glasses, your pens, your phones. It's the energy and the light in the room. It's the water uh, that you've just drank just before entering the meeting. It's everywhere, but we take it for granted. Yet there are a couple of pressures on these exact resources. The first is the rise of the global population. We're moving from six, seven to nine billion people within one generation. And all these people need basic resources to be able to survive. Food, water and energy. The second trend is the rise of the middle class worldwide, which for these people is a fantastic news. But they want to be able to consume at the same level that we're consuming today. So there'll be even more pressure on resources. And the third trend is climate change. Climate change will have unforeseen effects, but we do know it will have effects on water. There'll be abundance, there'll be shortages, and water is essential for water, food production, as you know, for energy production, for mining. So it'll be a nexus question. Which scarce resources will we use for what production processes for the future of our global planet? Luckily, we have a, despite of the rising tension in, uh, in natural resources, we've got international institutions that deal with conflict management. Think of the World Trade Organization, UN Security Council, the OECD, and numerous other international institutions. The bad news is that the legitimacy of these institutions is being questioned right now of rising powers. Is it representing the current global system? And um, so we've got rising pressure on resources, and the other hand, a weakening international institutions. So today's topic, global governance of resources, is essential to discuss with each other. We should see how we evolve the current institutions to fit the current world system. We have to look for new institutions that are necessary, but in my opinion, new institutions won't always resolve the crisis of the future. What we do need is a good network organization. We need to be able to find each other and find solutions. Um, find innovative ideas and bring them to the market and bring them to institutions uh, to find solutions for the future. And I think that's central here today. And one of the topics which is a trend as well and will benefit us all is that there's going to be more and more transparency in the markets, more and more transparency in the system, also about accountability of regimes, of uh, trade flows, of companies, uh, and this can help the efficiency as well for the long-term sustainable production of resources. So I wish you all, from the Dutch government, but also uh, from the organi organizers of the World Resources Forum, a fantastic, fruitful and uh, insightful uh, uh, conference. Thank you very much.